गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ सौम्या ग्रोवर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद दूनिट वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट प्रिंट जर्नलिज्म बी ए जे एम सी टू जीरो टू द चैप्टर वन से इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू जर्नलिज्म इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म the role of a journalist what are the responsibilities of a journalist the meaning of journalism principle of journalism role qualities of a journalist so let's start with the session journalism is a form of communication based on asking and answering the questions who what how where and when journalism is anything that contributes in some way in gathering selection processing of news and current affairs for the press radio television film cable internet etc journalism is a discipline of collecting analyzing verifying and presenting news regarding current events trends issues and people those who practice journalism are known as journalists journalism is defined by dennis mcqualls as paid writing for public media with reference to actual and ongoing events of public relevance journalism can also be defined as the collection and editing of news for presentation through the media the public press an academic study concerned with the collection and editing of news or the management of a news medium writing characterized by a direct presentation of facts or description of events without an attempt at interpretation writing designed to appeal to current popular taste or public interest the word journalist journal and journalism are derived from the french journal which in its turn comes from the latin term journal is or daily the actor journal a handwritten bulletin put up in daily in the forum the main public square in ancient rome was perhaps the world's first newspaper later pamphlets gazettes news books news sheets letters came to be termed as news paper those who wrote for them were first called news writers and later journalists thus journalism can be one of the most exciting jobs around one goes into work not necessarily knowing what you are going to be doing that day journalists get to meet powerful people interesting people inspiring people heroes villains and celebrities the chance to know something and to tell the world about it is exciting one also gets chance to indulge a passion for writing and the opportunity to seek the truth and campaign for justice and then there's the excitement of seeing your byline in print watching your report on television or hearing your words of wisdom on the radio as a craft journalism involves specialization in one area editorial design printing for the reporters and the sub editors for instance it entails writing to a deadline following routines in a conveyor belt like workplace while respecting the divisions of labor in the newsroom and the printing press In earlier times knowledge of typewriting and shorthand were the main skills demanded but today computing and dtp skills are in demand for all areas of journalism 
as a profession it is markedly different from other other established professions like medicine law management or teaching while these established professions require some specialized educational qualifications and training to be recruited to them journalism does not make any such requirement essential there is no bar to anyone entering the profession no matter what one's educational background or professional experience is from the very beginning journalism has been and still remain an open profession also journalism has no distinct body of knowledge that defines the profession and marks its relationship with its clients readers advertisers advertising agencies public relation officials others journalism is a specific approach to reality however there is no consensus in the journalist community on this nor is there any universally code of conduct or code of ethics and where it does exist is rarely enforced opinions vary on whether journalism is a calling public service an entertainment a cultural industry motivated by profit or a tool for propaganda public relations and advertising journalism can be a combination of all these or each of these separately opinions are not so varied about the other professions as a business and trade journalism involves publishing on a regular basis for profit with news considered as the primary product hence there is the need to attract advertisers and readers through marketing strategies which focus on circulation and leadership principles of journalism over time journalists have developed nine core principles to meet the task they comprise what might be described as the theory of journalism journalism's first obligation is to Journalism's first obligation is to the truth. Democracy depends on citizens having reliable, accurate facts put in a meaningful context. Journalism does not pursue truth in an absolute or philosophical sense, but it can and must pursue it in a practical sense. This journalistic truth is a process that begins with the professional discipline of assembling and verifying facts then journalists try to convey a fair and reliable account of their meaning valid for now subject to further investigation journalists should be as transparent as possible about sources and methods so audience can make their own assessment of the information even in a world of expanding voices accuracy is the foundation upon which anything else is built context interpretation comment criticism analysis and debate the truth over time emerges from this forum as citizens encounter an ever greater flow of data they have more need not less for in 
identifiable sources to verifying that information and putting it in the context. Its first loyalty is to citizens. While news organizations answer too many constituencies, including advertisers and shareholders, the journalists in those organizations must maintain elegancies to citizens and the larger public interest above any other if they are to provide the news without fear or favor. This commitment to citizens first is the basis of a news organization's credibility. The implied convenient that tells the audience the coverage is not slanted for friends or advertisers. Commitment to citizens also means journalism should present a representative picture of all constituent groups in society. Ignoring certain citizens has the effect of disenfranchising them. The theory underlying the modern news industry has been the belief that credibility builds a broad and loyal audience and that economic success follows in turn. In that regard, the business people in a news organization also must nurture not exploit their elegance to the audience ahead of other considerations. Number three, its essence is a discipline of verification. Journalists rely on a professional discipline for verifying information. When the concept of objectivity originally evolved, it did not imply that journalists are free of bias. It called rather for a consistent method of testing information a transparent approach to evidence precisely so that personal and the cultural biases would not undermine the accuracy of their work. The method is objective, not the journalist. Seeking out multiple witnesses, disclosing as much as possible about sources or asking various sides for commit comment all signal such standards. This discipline of verification is what separates journalism from other modes of communication, such as propaganda, fiction or entertainment. But the need for professional method is not always fully recognized or refined. While journalism has developed various techniques for determining facts, for instance, it has done less to develop a system for testing the reliability of journalistic interpretation. Its practitioners must maintain an independence from those they cover. Independence is an underlying requirement of journalism. It is a cornerstone of its reliability. Independence of spirit and mind rather than neutrality is the principle journalist must keep in focus. While editorialists and commentators are not neutral, the source of their credibility is still their accuracy, intellectual fairness and ability to inform not their devotion to a certain group or outcome. In our independence, however, we must avoid any tendency to stray into arrogance, elitism, isolation or nihilism. Fifth Principle It must serve as an independent monitor of power. 
journalism has an unusual capacity to serve as watchdog over those whose power and position most affect citizens the founders recognized this to be a rampart against despotism when they ensured an independent press courts have affirmed it citizens rely on it as journalists we have an obligation to protect this watchdog freedom by not demeaning it in frivolous use or exploiting it for commercial gain it must provide a forum for public criticism and compromise the news media are the common carriers of public discussion and this responsibility forms a basis for our special privileges this discussion serves society best when it is informed by facts rather than prejudice and supposition it also should strive to fairly represent the varied viewpoints and interests in society and to place them in context rather than highlight only the conflicting fringes of debate accuracy and truthfulness require that as framers of the public discussion we not neglect the points of common ground when problem solving occurs seventh point it must strive to make the significant interesting and relevant journalism is storytelling with a purpose it should do more than gather an audience or catalog the importance for its own survival it must balance what readers know they want with what they cannot anticipate but need it short it must try to make the significant interesting and relevant the effectiveness of a piece of journalism is measured both by how much a work engages its audience and enlightens it this means journalists must continually ask what information has most value to citizens and in what form while journalism should read beyond such topics as government and public safety a journalism overwhelmed by trivia and false significance ultimately engenders a trivial society it must keep the news comprehensive and proportional keeping news in proportion and not leaving important things out are also cornerstone cornerstone of truthfulness journalism is a form of cartography it creates a map for citizens to navigate the society inflating events for sensation neglecting others stereotyping or being dressed proportionately negative all make a less reliable map the map also should include news of all communities not just those with attractive demographics this is best achieved by newsroom with a diversity of backgrounds and perspectives the map is only an analogy proportion and comprehensiveness are subjective yet their elusiveness does not lessen their significance ninth its practitioners must be allowed to exercise their personal conscience every journalist must have a personal sense of ethics and responsibility a moral compass each of us must be willing if fairness and accuracy require to voice differences with our colleagues whether in the newsroom or the executive suite news organizations do well
to nurture this independence by encouraging individuals to speak their minds. This stimulates the intellectual diversity necessary to understand and accurately cover an increasingly diverse society. It is this diversity of minds and voices, not just numbers, that matters. Who is a journalist? A journalist is a person who collects, writes or distributes news or other current information. Journalists work in many areas of life, finding and presenting information. However, for the purpose of this manual, we define journalists principally as men and women who present the information as news to the audience of newspapers, magazines, radio or television stations or the internet. What do journalists do? Within these different media, there are specialist tasks for journalists. In large organizations, the journalists may specialize in only one task. In small organizations, each journalist may have to do many different tasks. Here are some of the jobs journalists do. Number one, reporters. Reporters gather information and present it in a written or spoken form in news stories, feature articles or documentaries. Reporters may work on the staff of news organizations but may also work freelance, writing stories for whoever pays them. General reporters cover all sort of news stories. But some journalists specialize in certain areas such as reporting sports, politics, agriculture or entertainment. Sub-editors take the stories written by reporters and put them into a form which suits the special needs of their particular newspaper, magazine, bulletin or web page. Sub-editors do not usually gather information themselves. Their job is to concentrate on how the story can best be presented to their audience. They are often called subs. The person in charge of them is called the chief sub-editor, usually shortened to chief sub. Number third, photojournalists. Photojournalists use photographs to tell the news. They either cover events with a reporter, taking photographs to illustrate the written story, or attend news events on their own, presenting both the picture and a story or a caption. The Editor the editor is usually the person who makes the final decision about what is included in the newspaper, magazine or the news bulletin. He or she is responsible for all the content and all the journalists. Editors may have deputies and assistants to help them. The news editor is the person in charge of the news journalists. In small organizations, the news editor may make all the decisions about what stories to cover and who will do the work. In larger organizations, the news editor may have a deputy, often called the chief of staff, whose special job is to assign reporters to the stories selected. Feature writers. 
they work for newspapers and magazines writing longer stories which usually give background to the news in small organizations the reporters themselves will write feature articles the person in charge of feature is usually called the features editor larger radio or television stations may have specialist staff producing current affairs programs the broadcasting equivalent of the feature article the person in charge of producing a particular current affairs program is usually called the producer and the person in charge of all the programs in that series is called the executive producer or the ep specialist writers may be employed to produce personal commentary columns or reviews of things such as books films art or performances they are usually selected for their knowledge about certain subjects or their ability to write well again small organizations may use general reporters for some or all of these tasks responsibilities of a journalist journalists have a crucial role in society and carry several responsibilities in their pursuit of delivering accurate reliable and informative news to the public while the specific responsibilities may vary depending on the country organization and personal ethics some common responsibilities of journalists include number 1 truth and accuracy journalists have a responsibility to report the truth and strive for accuracy in their work they should gather and verify information from reliable sources and present it in a fair balanced and unbiased manner journalists should be transparent about the sources of their information and clearly distinguish between facts analysis and opinion objectivity and fairness journalists should strive to be objective and fair in their reporting they should avoid personal biases and conflicts of interest that could influence their work it is important to present multiple perspectives and provide context to enable readers or viewers to form their own opinions independence and editorial freedom journalists should maintain their independence and resist undue influence or pressure from external sources including government corporations or other powerful entities they should be free to investigate and report on matters of public interest without fear of censorship or retaliation ethical conduct journalists should adhere to ethical standards and professional codes of conduct they should respect the privacy and dignity of individuals involved in their stories exercise care when reporting on sensitive issues and avoid harm to vulnerable individuals or groups accountability journalists have a responsibility to be accountable for their work they should be open to criticism corrections and feedback from the public and be willing to correct any errors promptly and transparently public interest journalists should prioritize the public interest in their reporting they should cover topics and issues that are important to society shed light on matters of public concern and hold those in power accountable freedom of expression journalists play a crucial role in upholding and defending freedom of expression 
they should support and advocate for the protection of this fundamental right both for themselves and for others media literacy and education journalists can contribute to media literacy efforts by providing accurate information promoting critical thinking and helping the public navigate the complexities of the modern media landscape they should strive to educate and inform their audience empowering them to make informed decisions It's important to note that the responsibilities of journalists can sometimes intersect with limitations and constraints imposed by legal, ethical and professional considerations. Journalists often work in challenging and rapidly evolving environments and their responsibilities need to be balanced with the practical realities of the field. role of a journalist the role of a journalist is multifaceted and essential in society journalists serve as watchdogs informers storytellers and facilitators of public discourse their primary role is to gather investigate and report news and information to the public through various media platforms Here are some key roles that journalists fulfill. Gathering and verification. Journalists collect information through research, interviews, observations and other journalistic methods. They seek out multiple sources to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the information they gather. Verification is crucial to maintaining journalistic integrity and minimizing the spread of misinformation. Reporting and news writing. Journalists craft news stories and articles that present information in a clear, concise and engaging manner. They follow journalistic principles such as the inverted pyramid structure to prioritize the most important information at the beginning of the story their reporting should be fair balanced and unbiased investigative journalism journalists play a crucial role in investigative journalism which involves in-depth research analysis and uncovering hidden truths They investigate corruption, abuses of power, societal issues and other matters of public interest. Investigative journalism often requires tenacity, critical thinking and a commitment to holding powerful entities accountable. Public service Journalists serve the public interest by providing information that is relevant, timely and and essential for citizens to make informed decisions they cover a wide range of topics including politics social issues economics health science and culture By shining a light on important issues, journalists contribute to a well-informed and engaged society. Watchdog function. Journalists act as watchdogs over government institutions and powerful individuals. They monitor and scrutinize their actions, policies and decisions, aiming to expose abuses of power, corruption and other wrongdoing. The watchdog function helps to maintain transparency, accountability and checks and balances in society. Storytelling and human interest. 
journalists are storytellers who convey narratives that connect people to real life events and experiences they humanize stories by highlighting the impact on individuals and communities through compelling storytelling journalists evoke empathy provoke thought and encourage dialogue media analysis and critique journalists critically analyze and access media coverage including their own work and that of their peers they hold media organizations accountable for their reporting standards and practices by providing media analysis journalists contribute to media literacy and promote a more responsible and informed media landscape bridge builders and facilitators of dialogue journalists facilitate public discourse by providing platforms for different perspectives and voices to be heard they organize interviews debates and discussions that foster understanding empathy and informed debate journalists strive to create spaces for dialogue and bridge divides in society it's important to note that journalistic roles can vary depending on the type of media organization specialization and the specific context in which journalists work however the overarching purpose is to serve the public by providing accurate relevant and ethical journalism qualities of a journalist the main duty of a journalist is to act as an interpreter to the world around the journalist observes the events transmits facts about the event and act as an interpreter of these events and happenings a journalist should therefore stick to four ideals Number 1 he should imbibe a never ending search for the truth he should be able to meet needs of the changing times instead of waiting to be overtaken by them he should be able to perform services of some consequences and significance to mankind he should maintain a steadfast independence a journalist is an important unit of the democratic system in our country he is supposed to gather facts organize them and disseminate them to the masses he also explains the significance of the facts and offers opinions on contemporary issues he is expected to comment on matters of public interest in a fair accurate unbiased sober decent and responsible manner a journalist must be cool detached and even spectacle as he approaches his material the right attitude is an important trait in a successful journalist he should have a high degree of skill in organizing material and in using the language he should not be lacking in confidence but should not be over confident or over enthusiastic he should avoid distortion in the news story in an effort to attain striking effect attribution or the name of the source is another thing which should not be overlooked the best attribution is the name of the precise source the next best is the name of the organization office or group represented by the source as a spokesman the least satisfactory but sometimes the most necessary is some variation of the phrase informed source if the origin of the news must be held in confidence right like you talk is a phrase gaining much currency in modern journalism the stiff 
formidable praising of the thirties is no longer considered a good form. Instead, easy flowing, lively, palatable language is becoming popular. A great deal of importance is also attached to the vitality factor in journalists. Every journalist has to religiously observe the newspaper edition deadlines. Qualities of a reporter There is no prescribed qualification for a reporter, but not everyone can be a good journalist. A good journalist is sometimes born, but more often he is fashioned out of the hard school of rigorous test and training. A good reporter makes a regular contact with his or her sources. She goes to the well when she is thirsty, but she also goes to the well when she is not thirsty. There is no substitute for actually being there for personal contact. See your sources, speak to them when you need something from them, but more importantly, when you don't need anything. One of the most important qualities that a reporter must have is an ease around strangers. Always be alert to the common ground that you share with the people you deal with. Mention these topics in your conversations with them. Familiarity doesn't breed contempt. It lowers barriers. A reporter has to answer the question what's up with more than not much. Put sources on the receiving end of information. A reporter is an information broker. Share information when you can. There has to be a certain distance between a reporter and the source, not a wall or a fence, but an airspace. You serve the reader, not the source. After months on a beat, working with the same sources, you will begin to think like them and talk like them. You will be sympathetic to their point of view. Be wary of this and of their efforts to use you. It is likely and legitimate that you will try to persuade you of the merit of their views, to sell you on their programs. You will have little contact with your readers, but it is them whom you represent. The language of your source is probably not the language of your readers. Bureaucrats, scientists, educators and lawyers have their own jargon. Learn this jargon, but translate it into standard English for your readers. If you have obtained information from a source on the understanding that it is off the record, then it is. Remember, a source is a source for life. You may change beats, newspapers, even cities, yet your reputation will follow you. The only way to be successful reporter over the long haul is to operate honestly. If you don't, you will be without that most valuable of all commodities, good sources. Make one more call. Ask your source who else can help me, who holds an opposite view. Work down the organization chart. If possible, talk to the policeman who made the arrest not the supervisor, the teacher rather than the principal. Be polite but persistent with your sources. Insist on a responsible answer to your question. Follow slow developing stories by checking periodically with your sources. If the event or issue is still on their agenda, it probably should be on yours as well. The best reporters we know are bright, persistent, honest, personable, curious and courageous. A good reporter is a generalist able to deal with a number of topics and talk with a variety of people. He or she can see the unusual, the ironic in the everyday. 
she can think through all the possibilities and organize a large amount of information to find the important parts. A good reporter is quick. Once he is assigned a story, he goes after it. He makes the calls and keeps trying if, the, if he doesn't make contact. He remembers the sign that once hung in the Los Angeles Times newsroom, Goya caught. A good reporter is always curious. He or she takes pleasure in the new and in the old, in the history or precedent that got us where we are. He enjoys reading and appreciates the details. A good reporter is pleasant. He or she adopts a friendly nature with those they meet. They are grateful guests with a belief in the basic goodness of people. They convey to those they meet that they are tolerant of them and their ideas. Even though they does not like them or what they stand for, their subordinate, her ego and is a good listener. A good reporter is honest. He seeks the truth and acts independently. He does what he says he is going to do and does not do something he promised to avoid. He returns his calls and he is willing to say no. He is obsessed with accuracy and double checks his facts with callbacks. He sees both sides to every issue. He does not treat people as a means to an end. The good reporter is courageous. She approaches strangers. She takes pleasure in being good, in being first. She develops a skin to deflect the inevitable criticism. She is willing to make a mistake and willing to write something that may hurt someone. She has a capacity for tempered outrage. As John Franklin, reporter, author and a teacher said, Back when I was first started, I thought intelligence was the most important attribute a reporter could have. I have since changed my mind. You do have to be intelligent, but the big thing is courage. Courage to open your mind and let the whole damn confusing world in. Courage to always be ignorant one on somebody else's turf. Courage to stand corrected. Courage to take criticism. Courage to grow with your experiences. Courage to accept what you don't understand. Most of all, courage to see what is there and not what you want to think is there. Good reporter should have following elements in his new story. Accuracy. Every statement, quotation, name, date, age and address must be verifiable. In addition, accuracy of general impression is also important. This involves the way the details are put together and the emphasis given those details. A reporter must judge what is important or not important. What will be played up or played down? The overall article must give an accurate portrayal of an event or situation and poor selection of details or improper emphasis of details can distort the truth. In general, accuracy is difficult because reporters are dealing with many facts. They must gather information and write quickly. And many people are involved, from source to reporter to editor. To ensure accuracy, check and double check every detail and question sources carefully. <coughs> you can't always rely on sources to give complete accurate information. Any more than you can rely on them to just tell everything needed for an article. Indeed, some sources may intentionally misinform 
so reporters often need to check with more than one source. Balance. Closely related to accuracy is the selection of significant details as a result of informed judgment on the part of the reporter. Balance involves giving facts proper emphasis and placing them in proper relation or to other facts. A balanced story is also a complete story. Where the reporter presents both sides of an issue, particularly if it is controversial. For example, if you write a sports story for your high school paper, every state statement could be correct. But if only the action of the home team is reported. The reporter is guilty of writing an incomplete and unbalanced story. If you are covering a convention and write about a minor speech in great detail while giving little details about a major speech, you produce an unbalanced article. Objectivity News is a factual report of an event, not a report as seen by The reporter should be as impartial and honest as possible. In fact, if a reporter does have a bias, sometimes he or she declines to do the story or more often bends over backwards to make sure both sides are covered equally. Is total objectivity humanly possible? We all have backgrounds, biases and emotions that help make up who we are as people and turning them off completely is pretty impossible. Sometimes biased reporting can happen inadvertently because the reporter tries to be clever or make a story more interesting. Concise and clear. The in the worded pyramid structure of a writing with the most important information, first beginning with the lead paragraph that tells the whole story is miniature, helps the reporter to present helps the reporter to present information in an easy to understand manner. Think in terms of writing simply so that the average reader can understand even if they have no background or previous knowledge of the subject. Whenever you begin to write an article, think of this story and remember that you must explain in such a way that not one member of your audience would misunderstand. You must somehow make readers see regardless of their frame of reference of or how complex the topic is. There is no prescribed qualification for a journalist, but not everyone can be a good journalist. A good journalist is sometimes born, but more often he is fashioned out of the hard school of a rigorous test and training.
professional and ethical standards for journalists journalists are expected to follow a stringent code of journalistic conduct that requires them to among other things use original source of information including interviews with people directly involved in a story original documents and other direct sources of information wherever possible and cite the sources of this information in reports fully attribute information gathered from other published sources should original sources not be available to not to do so is considered plagiarism some newspapers also note when an article uses information from previous reports use multiple original sources of information especially if the subject of the report is controversial check every fact reported find and report every side of a story possible report without bias illustrating many aspects of a conflict rather than siding with one approach researching and reporting a story with a balance between objectivity and fact use careful judgment when organizing and reporting information be careful about granting confidentiality to sources news organizations usually have specific rules that journalists must follow concerning grants of confidentiality decline gifts or favors from any subject of a report and avoid even the appearance of being influenced abstain from reporting or otherwise participating in the research and writing about a subject in which the journalist has a personal stake or bias that cannot be set aside that is all for today we have learned journalism and who is a journalist we'll continue with another unit in the next class Thank you